Hey guys, Justin here. I'm here to talk about the hit state. Let's go to our NPC sample. Behavior component down here are the hit settings. As usual, universal options above and unique properties below. Now the hit transition is the state to change to once the AI finishes the hit animation. Now to make our AI be hit by something, first we need to add an animation in the hit behavior config. This animation is to be played when the AI is hit. So this is AM flinch. Now in our general settings, we set our initial behavior to hit. Compile and play this. As you can see, the AI just played a hit animation. Now in order for us to actually make the AI be hit by something, we need to go to our idle settings right here. In our idle settings, we shall add a message trigger. Message trigger is simply going to tell the AI that something has happened and he needs to respond. So going to set a message tag of damage and a behavior to, to hit. This way, when the AI receives a message of damage, it will go to the hit behavior. Alright, and now let's set our initial behavior to idle. Hit compile. Now we need an actor that will actually send the damage message. Now in my case, I'm going to use my projectile right here. First person projectile. Now since our NPC sample is actually a child of our NPC base, it already has a built-in health and damage system. This way, our NPC, our AI, will automatically receive a damage message once it receives uh, an actual damage. So here, on the event hit, I'm just gonna add apply damage and plug in the other to damaged actor and let's set the damage to 10. Compile and that looks about good. So if we play it here, he plays the hit animation. Now let's say for example we want our AI to run away once it's been hit. Well, in the hit settings, we simply set our hit transition to our flee behavior. Hit compile again, play, and once we fire our AI, it should run away. Hit again, and he should run away. And that is the hit behavior.